video is about a new feature in Moodle 2.4 out in December called blind marking. Blind marking is when the teacher doesn't know the identity of the student whose work they're grading and this can be very useful for avoiding any potential bias for instance when grading exams or assessments. So let's go into a Moodle 2.4 course and take a look at how it works. We're in a Moodle 2.4 fashion course. We turn on the editing and add an assignment in the usual way, giving it a name and a description. And then we select the settings that we want for this assignment. What's new, however, is towards the end of this, after the group assignment settings, we can enable blind marking so the teacher won't see who submitted the work. Another thing that's useful to know is that you do normally have the option to enable submission comments. This means that students can send you a little note about their work when they send in a file for instance. I don't think you can do that with blind marking because they could accidentally or even deliberately reveal their identity in that comment. So let's scroll down to the bottom and save and return to course and then see it from the point of view of a student. Student Victoria is going to submit her assignment. She clicks on the assignment and clicks the add submission button. It's worth noting here, because she's required to upload a file, that you might wish to mention to your students that when they name the file, they don't reveal in its name any identity. I will talk a little bit about some of the minor issues with the blind marking a little bit later on. So Victoria is going to select this file and she's going to submit her assignment. Let's now go back in as a teacher and see if we can identify her and how the actual blind marking works. As a teacher we click the fashion history assignment link we see that three students have submitted it but when we click view grade all submissions we can't actually see the names of the students instead we get randomly generated participant numbers which are not the student IDs incidentally and then when we click one of these to grade we still can't see who it is we do know that Victoria was one of the students who sent in the work, but we can't see which one is her work. Now, as we save the changes to this grading, if you take a look down at the settings at the bottom left here, you notice that there's a setting, Reveal Student Identities. Clicking here allows you, when you're ready, to reveal the identities and see who has sent in which work. You can't then go back on this. So we can now instantly see that Victoria did hand in her work and we can see that the work we graded was actually Kate's. Just a few words of warning here. It isn't foolproof. In other words, blind marking is not quite so blind. Teachers can go through the course logs, the course participation report and figure out which student has submitted and which hasn't. And also students can inadvertently include the information in a Word document, for instance, which could reveal their identity. So it is somewhat of a compromise, but it's worth it, and it is something that's worth trying when Moodle 2.4 is out.